how to fix app store asking for root password and apple id on your iphone so if each time you try to update an application on the app store on your iphone so you go to the outdated apps page like this and then you click on update instead of the app store to ask you for the recent apple id password and account then it prompts a notification that you need to type in the whole apple id account password then this video is going to walk you through how to do this step by step as you can see i have two different email address on my app store this is my hold email address or my hold apple account email and then i have my new apple account email as well so each time i want to update any application on the app store this is what i see so here i'm going to show you the easiest and probably the only way to fix this so if i don't know this you found this off informative please don't forget to like and then subscribe now let me show you that i have a different apple id account on my iphone and the app store is requesting for my whole apple id account password and see this is my current apple id email now to fix this, all you just need to do is go ahead and open the App Store. Then locate the application that is requesting for the hold Apple ID address. So, Messenger. What you just need to do is you need to go ahead and install this application from the hold Apple ID account. So, if I try to update this application, instead of requesting for my new Apple ID account, it's going to request for my hold Apple ID account. Then, this is what you need to do. Just exit the App Store, go ahead, open the Settings app on your iPhone, then scroll down, click on General. Now, once you selected General, scroll down and locate iPhone Storage. Now, locate the Messenger app or any application that is still requesting or requiring the whole Apple ID accounts before you can update them. And then delete the app. Now, once you delete this application, the application data and document will be removed. Now, go back to the App Store. Search for the application you just deleted, which is the Messenger app in this case. Now, once you search for the application from the App Store, the next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and click on the Get button. Now, once you click on the Get button, you see you'll be prompted to use your new Apple ID account to download and install this application. So if you use your new Apple ID account to download and install the Messenger app on your iPhone, when next you want to update this application, this will no longer request for the whole Apple ID account and password again. So go ahead, type in your new Apple ID account password. Once you've typed it, go ahead and click on Sign Not Up Right. Then hang on. Once you can sign into the Apple ID account, then you should see a pop here that asks you to either tap the Install button or Press the side button two consecutive times for you to be able to install the messenger application or your selected application. Now, once you download and install this application on your iPhone, when next you want to update the application to the latest variant, your iPhone will no longer request for your whole Apple ID password and then the whole Apple ID account. So, you need to repeat this on all your outdated application on your iPhone. Delete all apps you installed on the whole Apple ID account and then restore them using your new Apple ID account. So that is basically how you can fix App Store asking for hold password and Apple ID at the same time. So if you found this offer informative, please don't forget to like and then subscribe.